Today I'm going to be reviewing this beautiful big hair that's in my head. It's a crochet style. Um, so I'm just going to get started because I don't want this video to be too long. So I hope you guys enjoy it. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And thank you for watching. I'll catch you guys in my next video. So this hair is the Free Tris Braid Water Wave 22 inches. I got the color TP1B slash 530 and it looks like this and I will show you guys let me just back my chair up I have some red in it I don't know if you guys can see it I have more red on this side than um, anything else and to be perfectly honest like when I was looking up this hair I wanted the 530 hair but the site that I got it from which is wig types they didn't have 530 anymore, so I saw the TP like 1B slash 530, and I didn't know that like it would only be like some red pieces in. Show you guys that some pieces red are in here. I literally thought it was gonna be like an ombre, like it could be 1B at the top and then 530 at the bottom, but it wasn't. So I had to work with what I had. Um, I purchased four packs. However, I used two for two full packs and then I opened the third pack but I didn't finish it and this is what I have left in the third pack um, I'm just gonna show you guys just like the hair and how it comes and then I'll review it so it when you take it out of the packet it looks like this and I cut my hair in half let me just show you guys that I cut my hair in half so this is obviously like a cut half piece but it's definitely longer you don't have to cut it in half um, however I wanted my length to be like this I didn't want my hair to be that long because it's getting nicer out, so that's why. So you take the hair out, you know, you cut it, you can cut it. And then what you have to do is like you have to drag your hand down the shaft of the hair because it kind of has like the texture to make it look like this, like this style. And we don't want it to look like this style, we want it to look like this style. Um, unfortunately, I don't have any footage from when I was doing the my leg of my hair because I was kind of in a rush because I needed it done for like an event which was the next day when I chose to do my hair. So I was up pretty late doing it and had my roommate and I didn't want to like bother her or whatever. So there's that. So you just run your hair and down it and I don't know if I did it as much this time because I just want to show you guys. But if you didn't do it, like you see how it kind of like, I don't know if you guys saw how it kind of like tingled at the end. But then all you do is separate it, and then what you do again, if you want it to be like more fuller, then you separate that piece again and just like put it back together. And then you would crochet this in. That's how I did my hair, and that's how like I broke it apart, and then you know you just crochet it. Moving on to the review of the hair. Um, like I said, I got four packs, but I only used two, pretty much like three and a half. Um, so I felt like with me cutting it and tearing it apart and stretching the hair, I felt like it made it last more. So I was really excited about that because next time I know maybe if I use this hair, I would only get like three. However, I don't really, I'm not really a fan of the hair, I guess you could say. Um, this is very soft and now that it's been in for almost two weeks it's kind of like it's not stiff because it still moves and I do like trim like the frizzy pieces that are like are stuck together like every day but I don't know like I don't like really like the texture and what I do at night I just put on my silk scarf and I pineapple it and then I cover like the remaining pieces just so like they don't get caught somewhere when I sleep because I sleep really wild. So I don't know if that has to do with that why the hair feels this way now, but it definitely doesn't feel that like the way like it was, when it was just in and it was soft. And I don't also like how it sheds so much. Literally like it sheds so much when I was doing it. Like clumps of hair 
like we get stuck together and then when you're crochet like when you're doing it in and then it was just really annoying and I felt like it made the process of crocheting kind of like 10 times harder but then I don't want to just blame it on the hair because this was the first time I've ever like crocheted hair in and let me just crochet my yarn wraps in and I just wanted to try something new so I really didn't want to blame it all on the hair because it's not the hair's fault but um I don't know, maybe I'll try it again. I have like one pack left and I don't want this one pack to go to waste. So maybe I'll try it again. Um, I don't know, I was thinking about trying the, uh, some other brands in the line of free trips. I think the next one I wanna try is going to be the either the Bohemian braid, the Brazilian braid, the Natural Swiss braid, or the Aruba Curl braid. I like those four a lot. So um, I don't know if all free trust packets are used with like the same kind of like formula for hair, but I really did not like crocheting with this hair. Like it was really, really tingly. Um, however, I got it online from wig types and I think each pack was only $2.49, like $3 if I'm not mistaken, and like tax and everything. It came to like $25, so it wasn't bad, you know, just for a quick style. Morning when I take it down, I take it out of my scarf and I shake it. I don't put water in it or anything because I don't really feel the need to. I lay, try to lay down my edges because it don't be, I be in a rush some days. And then I take some scissors, my hair scissors in the bathroom and I kind of just um, cut frizzy pieces or like little other strand kind of pieces or like if I feel like, I don't know, like I feel like when you do crochet hair, um, you know when like certain pieces just don't fit in and they look crazy so you just cut it off and then, like I said I cut off like where I see like it's frizzing up. Um, so that's all I really have to say about the hair. It is really nice so I think everyone should like try it at least once. I personally wasn't a fan of it but you know like I said it was my first time so maybe I was expecting something differently and I didn't get it so that's what would be bad on like the hair but I don't know, I just wanted to show you guys what I'm rocking right now. Definitely the next time I do crochet, I'm definitely going to like do a tutorial, tutorial, like where I show you guys my braid pattern, I show you guys how I crochet, um, and I just do the whole thing. Um, but yeah, that's about it, that's all I have to say for this video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Thank you guys for watching, I appreciate it. And let me know what other videos you would like to see if you're watching. So. Thank you guys once again, and I'll catch y'all later. Bye.